this shouldn't affect my my answer at all because I uh, I don't know anything about the real world. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> you've known about that now about you for a long time. All right, uh, Patrick, actually, tell us the circumstances in which you originally met John Roderick. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, We're in a safe place. Yeah. Uh, those of you that read my blog, uh, you know, I, I, I tend to overshare, right? I have very few social filters. Um, and I've kind of alluded to this, but I've never actually come out and, uh, and talked about it openly, but it, it's better, it, it's better, too. Uh, uh, a lot of people go to petting zoos, right? <laughs> uh, um, but it's, it's and some people say that they're addicted to petting zoos, but they're it's it really causes problems for those of us with real petting zoo addiction, like genuine <laughs> clinical petting zoo addiction. We met at a at a support group. Uh, he, was, he, he was actually my sponsor, um, and. Uh, and I, I, I just, I'm, I'm two years now. I'm two years. And then we'll head out. I have 15 years today. supports you in a way you never expected or understood. I, I, I was always a I was always a petter. Uh, but then I became a petty. Yes. And as you saw just now, I both pet and am petted. My name's John. <laughs> Nothing compared to a, a, a petter who likes to get pet. That's, the community doesn't support it at all. <laughs> I'm an island of one. <laughs> That's the name of my petting zoo. <laughs> I 